Assalamu alaikum. Bye. <laughs> and so here is my answer for this trinomial, and this is how I factorized it. Thank you very much, Fatia. But since you love factorizing too much, yeah. Uh, let me try you another one. What will you do if you have 3x squared minus 27? Time is limited. What will you do? This should be answered. Assalamu alaikum, dear viewers. Today we will do factoring of trinomials. So let's say we have an example. Uh, let's say x squared minus 5x plus 6. So now we are going to factor this trinomial. So what we have to do is leave the x squared alone. Then what we're going to do is we're going to multiply 6 and x squared. That is 6x squared. Let me just write it off to the side. Then we're going to leave minus 5x as it is. Then what we have to do is have to multiply two numbers in which will get us to the product of 6x squared, and we either have to uh, add or subtract two numbers, the same two numbers, that will get us to minus 5x. Okay, so what we will do here is 6 and 1 does work, but why not try 2 and 3? Because 2x and 3x does make 6x squared. So if we write 2x and 3x here, and we add them, it will become 5x. But we need minus 5x. So what we need to do is we need to subtract these two and put a minus sign in front of here. So minus and minus is plus. We add these two and the sign is minus. Perfect. It works out. Now minus 2x times minus 3x is 6x squared because minus times minus is plus and 2x times 3x is 6x squared. So it works out. Perfect. All right. Let me just erase this and write it again equals 2 x squared and so our two numbers are minus 2x and minus 3x plus 6 on the other side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take um, common from these two numbers right here and then these two numbers right here. So first if we take common from these two we're going to take common x which will leave us with x minus 2 and the other one so in the, uh, these two we're going to take common minus 3. If we take common minus 3, what will be left of it will be x minus 2. Now, we know that this is correct because whatever is inside these two parentheses, the numbers that are inside these two parentheses, they are the same. So when they are the same, that means that whatever we're doing is going on correct while we're factoring trinomials. All right. Next, what we have to do is we have to take common x minus 2 out of, both, uh, out of this line. So if you take common x minus 2, well, what will be left of it is x minus 3. And so here is my answer for this trinomial, and this is how I factorized it. Thank you very much, Fatia. But since you love factorizing too much, yeah. uh, let me try you another one. Can you do x square minus 81 when it's a binomial? How will you do that? Your time is very limited. You have to do it quick. Okay x squared minus 81. It's not very hard. All we have to do is do, put x squared right here, leave it alone, minus 9 squared. Because all I did was square root my 81, and nine, we all know that in our basic facts, 9 times 9 is 81. So x squared minus 9 squared is also another way to write this. Equals 2. Um, when I know, when I see that two of numbers are squared and in the, in the middle of them is the minus sign, then I know that I should write this, x minus 9. So in one parenthesis, I put two parentheses. In one, I added the two without the powers. In one, I subtracted the two. So this is how I will do it. What will you do if you have 56 minus? Okay, wait. No, if you have 3x squared minus 27. Time is limited. What will you do? 3x squared minus yeah. 27. How will you do now? Okay, then I'll take the three common as I did before x squared uh minus 9 correct now what will you do 3 just as it before x squared minus uh 3 squared equals to 3 here i'm going to do wait what okay yeah x plus 3 x minus 3 this should be answered thank you assalamu alaikum bye <laughs>